Okay, so this video from the title, granted, sounds a little bit negative. I want to give you some positives. I'll give you that at the end. But I want to explain why growing on YouTube as an artist is so very hard to do. And then why, and then how you can solve that. So to probably talk about this, got to explain how the YouTube algorithm works and how YouTube works nowadays. So back in the day, channels existed. If you hit subscribe, YouTube would show you their videos. Nowadays, because YouTube prioritizes keeping people on the site, they've realized via the algorithm that that old method isn't actually the best way of keeping people on YouTube. The best way of keeping people on YouTube is by showing them more videos of the style in which they're already watching are relevant of whether they're subscribed or not. So if I went and created a new YouTube channel and subscribed to MKBHD and PewDiePie and then only watched Gordon Ramsay videos, my home screen would be full of Gordon Ramsay videos. I haven't subscribed to him, but YouTube knows I like to watch Gordon Ramsay videos. The subscription part of YouTube is almost pointless now. Granted, there's a subscriptions tab, but most people don't navigate to it because the stuff that they want to watch is already on the home screen because the algorithm knows them better than they do. All that means is, as an artist, you're gonna to struggle to grow an audience on YouTube. So musical artists generally have two types of things that they put onto YouTube. Music videos and live sessions or just things of them playing an acoustic version, that kind of thing. We'll call those live sessions for simplicity. There's occasionally artists that maybe once a year will put out like a vlog style video of like, oh, we went to the studio and it's super half assed it's not very good, and they just put maybe one out every year. It's not good enough. You need to be putting out lots of videos to kind of feed the algorithm. Just doing music videos, live sessions, and the occasional like vlog style thing just doesn't work. You can't feed the algorithm, it doesn't get shown to people. It's kind of, it's not pointless, but it's, it, it's a big hindrance. On top of that, because you can't build an audience on YouTube, you're probably gonna be posting links on social media. So you'll put a link on Facebook to be like, oh, we've got a new YouTube video, or oh, we've got a new music video, or, here's the YouTube link. The issue with that is that Facebook doesn't want people leaving Facebook to go to YouTube. So they won't promote that post as much as they would a embedded Facebook video. So you're in the shit there too. Twitter could work, like Twitter will show it to every single follower. The issue is that Twitter is such a spam fest that if you've got someone who follows loads of people, they may never see your tweet, they may never click through. So you're still in the same boat. Instagram's the same as Facebook, except you can't post links unless you're a verified user and on stories, or you just put the link in your bio, which requires like three clicks and people just don't do it. So you're a bit fucked no matter which social media you're on to promote YouTube and just promoting on YouTube definitely ain't gonna work. Is there a solution? Yes, I've got a few. So the first one is kind of a two pronged approach. So the first prong is you start making more YouTube style content, whether that's you start a vlog and actually just start documenting the things that you do. That could be weekly. You could just take it to band practice and then talk about things that are happening at band practice. If you're interesting enough and do interesting things, that could work. You could review musical equipment and just start reviewing the pedals and amps and guitars that you already have and just work out what the content it's gonna be later on, later on. You could do tour diaries if you're on tour enough to do that. You could do it as a variety of things. You could just do a weekly live stream on YouTube where you play a set of songs and just learn loads of covers every single week. Or if you're good enough at writing the songs, write a load of songs in a week, perform them all at the end of a week in a live stream and have the audience decide which songs that they prefer and they're the ones that you keep. You could do loads of interesting stuff with it. And the second prong, do the traditional thing of actually releasing music videos, live sessions, everything that bands normally release on top of the things that you've already been releasing because then you can feed the algorithm with music-based content without having to make more music videos or make more live sessions. You're just making other content to filter in between. And with that, you're building kind of a relationship with your audience because you're showing them more of yourselves which in the internet age is kind of the big thing is you can't really be like a kind of secretive artist where you don't share a lot because you just get buried in social media. Share as much as possible and you'll get more views and people will be interested in you and it's kind of like a, a snowball effect that you have to do or you'll just get buried. Another way of doing it, which is just probably not gonna work but I'll tell it you anyway, because you should be doing it anyway, is just be really specific about how you're kind of tagging everything. So if you are just gonna put out music videos and just gonna put out live sessions, or if you're doing the other thing, but doing these as well, make sure that you're tagging them properly. Because 
YouTube and its algorithm needs to know what to place your videos next to. So if you don't give it enough words, it doesn't know what the video is. You can say, oh, it's an official music video and you can put it in the music category, but it doesn't know what style, therefore it just won't put it next to anything. If you in the description have a nice little paragraph about all the artists that you really like or the tour that you went on with this band, you put in that band's name and the song names or anything like that will tell YouTube, oh, this, this other thing that's been mentioned here is relevant to this video. Therefore, you might be best putting this video next to their videos. Don't be scummy about this. You could just do an FFO, so like a for fans of, and then list a few artists. Like that's fine. What I would say with this is don't put in the description, oh, for fans of Foo Fighters and ACDC and Guns N' Roses, like huge artists, because you have zero chance, absolutely zero chance of getting your videos next to their videos. You need to kind of lower the expectations a little bit. So if you have just played a gig with a local artist that's getting a few thousand views on YouTube, mentioning them might be a good idea, because chances are there isn't much competition to be next to their videos. Therefore, those few thousand views will see your video on the little recommended thing next door, and maybe they'll click. All of this obviously is down to whether the algorithm likes you. Having good watch time, having good likes and comments on your videos will help the algorithm decide whether it wants to use your video in its suggestions or not. There's a lot of factors in, but actually having good tags and good descriptions so that it knows what your video is actually about and should be put next to will help so much. The other way of going about this is to ignore YouTube completely. It's not ideal, but it does mean that you can focus on the types of social media that you will probably be best growing your audience with. So you can kind of just use YouTube as a place where you store your music videos, and that's it. That would work. That's kind of how big artists treat it. Like with the Vivo channels, they upload their music video and leave it for a year until the next one comes out. Because they're a popular artist, they get loads of views just from people searching for that person. Like Ariana Grande's videos gets loads of views because people are typing in Ariana Grande and then a song name and then the music video comes up. People aren't necessarily finding her music via YouTube, so maybe you should treat it the same if you don't want to put the effort into actually running a proper YouTube channel. If you're going to do that, be aware that they're not going to get that many views because you're not spending effort on it, therefore not many people are going to view it. But if you want to put all of that effort into Spotify or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or chuffing TikTok, whatever, then that might actually be a better thing to do. Provided that you're still building an audience, you're just building it elsewhere, it's not necessarily a bad plan. Just be aware that your music videos won't have that many views. Maybe they'll have loads of views on Facebook and the clip on TikTok will have loads of views, but maybe not on YouTube. That's fine if you're fine with that is a decision you've got to make. There's three different plans. Pick one, I guess. So it doesn't matter what method you do, any of the three that I've suggested are fine. Just stick to it because if you flip flop, if you actually try YouTube quite intensely, but only for like a month and then go, oh, well, this isn't working and then stop. Of course, it's not going to work. You need to stick to it. We built this channel from 2013 and the first year we got like 200, 300 subscribers. It's kind of a snowball effect that will get bigger the more you do it. So you actually have to stick to it. If you're gonna half arse it and then maybe try it later on, that's fine because if you're gonna half arse it, half arse it anyway. Like there's no point in trying a bit because it just doesn't work with YouTube. There is just no way around like, oh, I wanna spend a bit of effort on it. You either spend a lot of effort on it and generate a YouTube channel or you just use it to put videos on and you don't care you can't have the middle ground. The algorithm doesn't let you have a middle ground. I know that shit. I, I don't have a solution for you other than to just use other social medias as the way of generating an audience. However, if you're watching this video in the future, things might have changed again. YouTube themselves aren't even aware of how the algorithm works because it's a black box thing where they just feed it information, it gives them output, and they don't know how it works in the middle because it's learning by itself. It's fucking complicated and it's constantly evolving itself to make sure that people stay on YouTube. It tries stuff, if it keeps people on YouTube, it keeps doing that thing. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So it, it doesn't, this video may be irrelevant in a month's time. It may be irrelevant in a few years time. It might still be relevant in 10 years time. We literally have no idea. Chances are, if they keep going the way that they are with the algorithm, it will be relevant for a long time because I didn't talk about specifics of how the algorithm works. But, 
We don't know. We have absolutely no idea whatsoever. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos from us. But as we said in this video, fucking pointless. So just binge watch a few of our videos and then we'll probably show up on your home screen. If you happen to do the thing of you actually start a YouTube channel and you're going to create like weekly content, please give us a link. This is the only time I'm allowing you to plug your own fucking YouTube channel in our YouTube comments. I remove them otherwise. This video is the only time I'm going to allow it. If you are making actual content for your YouTube channel as an artist, I want to see it. I want to see what interesting things you're doing. So please leave us a link. Maybe we'll do a video of kind of reviewing them and talking about it because I think that's an interesting concept that we should explore. If you're not, if you're just going to half-ass it, don't. Um, I don't want links to your music videos here. That's not what this is for. Cool. Right. Bye.